Hi guys, in today's lesson I'm going to show you how to create dynamically populated select menus using PHP and data from a MySQL database. Ok, let's begin. First I will show you the files we need and then I'll explain the database. In my projects folder I have a functions.php file, a script.js javascript file and an index.php file which contains a basic HTML page structure. I also have a script tag that links to the JavaScript file. Now let me show you the database. The database is named Tutorials World and contains two tables, a Cities table and a Countries table. The Countries table has two columns, a Country name and a Country code column. The Country code column stores the three letter code for each country in the table. It is important because it creates a relational connection with a Cities table. Let's take a look at the Cities table. The cities table contains a city name column and a country code column. We will use each country's country code to fetch their corresponding cities. You'll see how this works when we get there. In the description below, I've included a link to download the database in case you want to follow along. Ok, now it's time to code. I will start with the index.php file and I'll add some text to, to guide the users on what to do. After that, I will create a form element and give it a name of my form. Next, inside the form, I will create a select element and name it countries. Inside the select element, I will add an option tag with an empty value attribute and set its text to choose a country. The options for the countries fetched from the database will be populated using PHP. Next, I will create another select element and name it cities. I will add a choose a city option and all other options will be populated using JavaScript. Let's quickly check our index.php in the browser. It looks nice, but I want the cities menu to be disabled when the page loads. So let's add the disabled attribute to make it inactive by default. Great. Now I will move to the functions.php file to write a couple of functions. I will start by creating a function named database connection. This function will establish a connection to the database and return the connection object. Next I will write a function named getCounters. As the name implies, this function will retrieve the country names and the country codes from the database. Inside the function I will connect to the database and store the connection object in the MySQLi variable, check if the connection is successful, if it fails the function will return false. I'm going to write an SQL query to select all records from the countries table. Next, I will loop through the result set and fetch each row as an associative array, storing them in the data variable. And last, I will return the data array. Next, we will go to the top of the index.php file and require the functions.php file to access the code that we have written there. Then, I will scroll to the country select menu and under the first option element, I will open PHP tags. I will, call the, I will call the getCountries function and store the results in the countries variable. After that, I will use a for each loop to iterate through the countries array. Inside the loop, I will exit PHP mode to write HTML code. I will create an option tag, set its value attribute to the country code, and set its text content to the country name. Now, let's see what we have done in the browser. As expected, the country names appear when we open the drop-down menu. Great! The next step is to fetch the cities when a country is selected. To do this, I will assign an on-click event listener to the country select menu. Each time a country is selected, a function named getCities will run. This function will take the selected value as an argument. Remember, the value attribute contains the country code. This means we will send the country code to the PHP file using JavaScript to fetch the corresponding cities from the database. You'll see how this works in a moment. Now let's move to the JavaScript file and write the getCities function. First I will define the getCities function passing in a variable named countryCode as an argument. Next I will target the city select menu. To do this I will use the document.forms expression. Inside brackets and quotes, I will pass in the form's name. And then I will say that cities to target the city select menu by its name attribute. 
After that, I will validate the country code value. I will check if it is an empty string. If this is the case, I will disable the city select menu, display the first option element, which is the choose a city option, and return false. Next, I will use the fetch method to send a get request with a query string containing the country code to the functions.php file. Next, I will use the then method to handle the response as JSON, since the cities will be sent from the PHP file in JSON format. Next, I will chain another then method to process the actual data from the response body. I will, I will rename the data variable to cities, so it makes more sense. Inside the second then method, I will create a variable named out and initialize it as an empty string. I will append an option element with a text choose a city to the out variable. After that, I will use a for off loop to iterate through the cities array. Inside the loop, I will append an option element for each city to the out variable. I will set both the value attribute and the text content of the option element to the current city's name. Finally, I will update the inner HTML property of the city's drop-down menu to the value of the out variable. I will also set the, dis set the disabled property of the city's drop-down to false to make it active. The next step is to go to the functions.php file and handle the get request. I will write an if statement to check if there is a get request that contains a key named country code. If this is true, I will call a function named getCities passing the country code as an argument. The next step is to define the getCities function. I will say function getCities and as an argument I will pass a variable named country code. Inside the function, I will connect to the database and check if the connection is successful. After that, I will validate the country code variable. Next, I will write a query to, the, to select all records from the cities table where, where the values in the country code column match the incoming country code. Then, as I did in the previous function, I will use a while loop to fetch each row as an associative array, storing them in the data array. Finally, I will return the data array, but first I will encode it as JSON. One last thing, I need to echo the result of the getCities function because this is the service response to the fetch method in the JavaScript file. And guys, I spotted an error that I made in the index.php file. I forgot the closing parentheses in the getCities function. Let's fix that. Now we are ready to test the code. Let's reload the page. And let's choose France. Nice, we see the cities of France in the second menu. Selecting Germany, we see the cities of Germany. Perfect. And that's it, guys. But there is another video that I have for you. In this video, I show you how to dynamically populate select menus, but this time the data is stored in a JSON file. Check it out. Thanks for watching, guys. I hope you liked the video. Subscribe if you enjoy it. See you in the next one.